Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I have tried out a lot of different wood finishes. These are the ones I keep in stock. I don't necessarily use all of them all the time, but certain projects do require different things. And unfortunately, there's not one finish that does everything, even though you might see me use one more than a lot. But we'll talk about that in a minute. First, I'll show you what I've got here. So to start, we've got different oil-based finishes. Then we've got waxes, varnishes and lacquers, dyes and stains, and then hard wax oils. So anyone that's been watching for a while will know I'm a big fan of Danish oil. The trouble is I never really knew what it was. And when I started looking into it, I found out it was a mixture of oils, varnishes and drying agents. And each manufacturer have a different recipe, sometimes completely different oils and things. So it's just a generic name for different products and it's got VOCs in it and it's not natural products. I decided maybe it's not something I wanted to use. So I was inspired by Keith Brown, who sent me this uh, quite a long time ago now, and I've used it a few times to try and make my own finish. So I'll show you what I'm gonna use. So inspired by Keith, link to his video down below, I'm gonna make an oil and wax combination finish. So the oil I'm going for is tongue oil because it's supposed to be the highest quality and it dries reasonably quickly. I'll put a link down below to where I got this as well. And I'm gonna combine it with natural beeswax. I got it in pellet form because it makes it easier. This was surprisingly hard to find. Lots of these pellets are available online, but a lot are not actually 100% natural beeswax. They have colorings and things in. So again, I'll put links to this below. Now, another benefit of this finish is because both the products we're using are natural, it's gonna be food safe and toy safe. And that also means it's gonna be nice to apply. You don't have to worry about respirators or gloves. So what I'm gonna go for is a four to one ratio mixture. Now you could work out the four to one ratio by volume. So you're doing four cups of oil to one of wax, but I'm gonna do it by weight because I find that more precise and more repeatable. So to make this recipe simple, I'm gonna do 400 of oil. And then 100 of the wax. Now to be safe, I wanna melt these together at the lowest temperature possible. So, I'm gonna use a double boiler. So into this cast iron pot, I'm gonna put a small amount of water, and then the bowl sits over, but the bottom of the bowl doesn't touch the water, so it's just the steam that's gonna do the melting. Now, you could use uh, a slow cooker, I say this is kind of a double boiler or bain marie. Now in my household, I live alone, I do all the cooking, this is my cookware, I'm gonna scrub it afterwards. If you don't do most of the cooking, maybe best ask permission before you start putting wax in someone else's cookware. When it's all melted, I can get it off the heat and I'm gonna get it poured into a jug to be able to store it. I've got a mason jar and I've got some little tins. As it's warm, it's nice and liquid. So I'm gonna leave it to dry and solidify and then put the lids on. Now this is all set up, which didn't take very long, I can get the lids on.
Now time for maybe the most important step, a bit of branding. Now, this can either be used as a standalone finish or on surfaces that need a little more protection. It can be used as a polish and I can apply some tongue oil on its own first and then use this as a polish. So to apply, I like to use a microfiber cloth and I'm just gonna rub it on. This is a bit of oak, leave it a few minutes and then buff it off. So you can see that's just raw oak and this is the finish on, which has darkened it slightly and it leaves a lovely, nice, waxy finish. So that's it all done, Badger Wax. If you can think of a better name, leave a comment down below. I'm not selling this, but you can have a go making your own, or if you'd like to purchase something like it, link down below to Keith Brown from Rag and Bone Browns. You're definitely gonna see this on upcoming projects, but until then, thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.